Hello everyone, this little video is to show you how to set up Facewear Studio with Live Client. So I have Facewear Studio here opened up. Now the, the thing that you're going to do is select which camera you want to use. I had a little bit of a, a blip there because everything crashed, but here I am again. So anyways, on the input type, you select which camera you want to use. Now, if you can mess around with these parameters um, with the resolution, that will make everything run a lot smoother when it comes to your facial capture. After you play around with the resolution, and hopefully you'll be able to get 60 frames per second, we're gonna calibrate our neutral pose. So I look straight into the camera. I'm trying to cover my background, there we go. And we'll come back to this in a second. Now let's come to our streaming panel tab and then let's click stream to client. That's very important because if not, we're not gonna be able to stream to live client from Unreal Engine. Now we're gonna need to change our IP address once we go into Unreal into the editor. So you might wanna come over here and find your command prompt. And then you type IP config. So this one right here, this is your IP address and that's what we're gonna change in Unreal Engine. So I already have um, Unreal Engine open up with this project um, given to us by John McKinnis from McKinnis Studios. Thank you very much. So you're gonna click on your asset, whatever it is, and you're gonna be seeing here the Facebook Studio IP address. This is where you type in your IP address from the command prompt. So I'm gonna select my cinema camera actor. And from there, I'm gonna go into play. And there I am. All right, so now that you've made sure that everything is working correctly, I'm gonna just get out of play for a second. I'm also gonna stop piloting my Cine Camera Actor. And here from the animation tuning tab, you see like how the, the eye is not like kind of quite right here in Victor, correct? So I can start going in here and start changing the parameters on eye blink left. Now it looks not that great, right? So I can take it all the way to zero. I can start adding, you know, different motion effects, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So here is where I'm really going to make sure that I get the best performance for my capture as possible. All right, this was a quick little video on how to set up the new Facebook Studio and Live Client. Thank you very much.